with trauma then and you know people that get triggered and whether we like to um, say it or not we all kind of get triggered with different sorts of things is the goal with trauma therapy to move to a place where those things no longer trigger us is that possible oh I think I think that's that's an ideal goal right uh, but I think it's realistically as a matter of reducing those triggers and reducing the, the thing that you we were talking about, about the meta aspect, about blaming yourself, being hard on yourself. So ironically, it's sort of a bit of a paradox around that, but the more you can sort of say, well, hang on, this is just part of um, the, the the trauma and this is a, a symptom and I'll try and reduce them, not not by being down on myself, because that's part of it. People get down on themselves yeah. or they get overly scared saying they're going to be attacked. With I've noticed that time. definitely so, yeah. with my own experience. Yeah, the yeah, shame so comes shame comes very quickly. So, so um, when you can actually move that person around more to a sort of a, a self-nourisher and say, well, that's just part of the symptom, part yeah. of the condition, it's like normalizing, really. When we say normalizing, that's, um, that's half the work. Yes. So the next thing is, and when, you, when they say, well, that's a symptom, the fact that they know it's a symptom, and it's normal, it's a trauma, is, uh, going back to the DSA pre, pre definition, a normal reaction to abnormal circumstances. Oh, nice. That's cool. That's right. That's the first one of the first definitions of in the DSMs. A yeah. normal reaction. I still like it. I think they it's brilliant. Changed that around. But, you know, with with the uh, the veterans in the early days, especially the Vietnam vets and other veterans, um, just gained the concept in itself about that they weren't alone. Mm. It's, a, it's a normal reaction to trauma. is a normal reaction to abnormal, highly, highly abnormal circumstances. And, and there's probably very few people in the world... <laughs> Especially if you amped up the trauma, yes, it's not going to be traumatized. Maybe a hundred percent. Well, so uh, so and we, I mean, I know seventy percent of the general population would say hypothetically in extreme circumstances he's not going to be traumatized. Yeah, of course. Even James Bond, I don't know. He's so, pretty good, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, so and, and because because one's traumatized, one my fragments, one isolates, removes from the cells. They feel like and they face death. That's part of it. Like when you're about to face death or face a horrible emotional obliteration. Uh, it's like going leaving with the world, so and the, that that's a that's a very lonely experience. So, but when you realise that other people have the same experiences, that re- that reduces the that loneliness, and you see you have a connection automatically with others who that you don't um, don't know about. Yeah, they're also experiencing that, and uh, that's dramatically uh, healing. In the first couple of weeks, I found with a lot of people I've worked with, especially with, you know, certain groups, of rape victims. And, Yes, so, definitely, definitely. So, uh, um, so that ties into that, and 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 the actual triggers you work on the triggers and identifying them and, and reducing them, and mm. and and, so, and it's, it's very very subtle ones too, like going into uh, like JB or something and being triggered. Mm. I had a, a, someone that was actually chased by somebody wearing a balaclava once, some attempt to an assault or rape or something. Going into a place like JB. Harvey Norman, uh, what, what would be in there to make them have a panic attack? Yeah. So when we analyse that, we look at you know because some of the various devices that had speakers, the two speakers close together, one of those devices you know, reminded them of the balaclava, the eyes. Wow. So when you start to get into that, triggers went away. Wow. And they were able to, to understand it, so it's the connection. Another fellow was a um, veteran that was an undersea it's called a clearance diver in Vietnam. I'm worried about being assaulted by, attacked by one of the enemy. Maybe sort of fragment type, but like in James Bond, it actually happens. Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, one day, it was, it's all very dark under there, under, doing looking, checking for bombs and so forth. This knife comes kind of straight at him. And uh, it wasn't, it was a ship's propeller. I see. So, uh, but then, how's that relate to day-to-day experiences? Well, you're actually... Uh, walking, you know, walking through crowded places, you wonder is there somebody that's carrying something that's going to stab you with that? Mm. And you're not necessarily consciously connecting with that, mm. but when you make that connection, you find that you know being in a bus or crowded circumstance um, doesn't worry you anymore when you make that connection to the original trauma. Yeah, you just bring up that trigger. Yeah, doesn't mean the original um, material around that first place trauma has gone away, but that the triggers can diminish. Yes, and yes. that's something to work on then with the actual original trauma too. So the the you know, the, the unusual uh, can be very very important to, and, and triggers too, not just the obvious. Mm. 
You know, like if you're walking, you know, if someone's been raped in a park, when they walk into a park, they have a panic attack. Well, that's an obvious trigger. Very, very much so. But there's a lot of subtle, subtle triggers that uh, it's, it's interesting to explore. <laughs> it, it's very interesting to explore. And I think it's um, perhaps the, the unusual triggers are potentially harder to explore, to explore at least from a from a personal perspective because you can you can just imagine someone trying to explore the reason why they would get triggered in JB with the shame that comes with that and they're yes. like oh what I'm such a fool I'm such an idiot I shouldn't get no one this doesn't happen to anyone you know yeah, that, yeah. that resistance blocking that ability to yeah. explore yeah and, and, and also you know there were some people like, like like with the veterans for example they would have that very strongly like yeah, you gotta be you know if you can't be weak you can't show emotion all that oh, sort yeah. of stuff so and that would come back to sort of certain role models parents fathers maybe especially I see. things like that uh, royal officers uh so, so having some understanding about those, I mean, is that harsh, got to be tough on all occasions. And, and I grew up in that environment also, you know, typical for baby boomers, corporate punishment and all that sort of stuff. Oh, you know? yeah, well. So, you know, um, so understanding that uh, the origins of that and, and the societal family aspects, culture around that is important too. And mm. saying, well, so, well, that's part of your culture. It's part of your generation. They're not going to give that up. Yep. Like I wimp out all of a sudden or something like that, mate, you know? Yeah. Don't come with a raw prawn. But anyway, yes. so, uh, so but you don't have to, but the understanding about, it, you know, that may be okay under normal circumstances, uh, but maybe, maybe it's too severe under normal circumstances. Yep. It's understanding where that message comes from a bit without giving up on the important aspects of that, which is part of your now identity, is, is also important in you know, that part there too. Right. And uh, it can then switch more to the relational aspects. Yep. Of that message, so that's very important to, to perhaps you know steer gently to the direction, yeah. You know, if, do, you, know, do you, if find you know if you know what I mean, you know, oh, yes, you know, that, that harsh where's that come from, you know? yeah. Um, because it, it would, it would, there'd, there'd be a, a significant degree of conflict that can manifest in relationship, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. when people are traumatized by, by different sorts of things, and when people are traumatized by things or triggered by things i should say that yeah. the other person does yes um that's a, that's just a part of who they are or yes, a part yeah, of you know yeah. i can imagine the conflict that would that arise yes yeah, yeah yeah that's right yeah yeah 